And I end up her with her two little toesies. She's like, screw off. Stop tickling my toes. Oh, I'm getting the death glare. Hi guys, it's Saturday. Welcome back to the den. So it's been a weird week. A weird. Still not used to being home full time. It's it's weird. Though I have discovered Skyrim all over again. Well, so when Skyrim was like big and everyone was playing it and I was not really into it. I was just working lots and I never got a chance to actually sit down and play it. So have a PlayStation, never touch it. And yeah, so I have been playing Skyrim like absolutely crazy. Poor Ken, I've been ignoring him. But it's been good. I've been having lots of fun. You've been keeping busy, having a good week. You've been here, you tell me. Well, yeah. Did <laughs> tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been boring? Have I been... No, it hasn't been boring at all. It's just been a very strange dynamic shift. Yeah, we're slowly turning nocturnal. Uh, it's it's very strange. But um, uh, A friend of mine sent me a message, and it was a suggestion for the den, so I figured I would throw this out there, see if you guys like this idea, and that was... Now, we, we mentioned that we don't really want to go too deep talking about what's going on out there, because... We want to be kind of an escape for that, um, and so just, just not dwell on it, no focus on it. But so we were just wondering if you guys would be interested. Uh, the idea was to get friends, family, followers of the den to send us little snippets, little video clips, and edit it all together and see what everybody's been up to, how everybody's been managing the lockdown and the quarantine, and. Uh, See how everybody's making do. So if that's something you guys would be interested in, let us know in the comments below. And I'm yeah. just going to sit here and play with my cat. I'm going to get the kitty belly. I'm going to get the kitty belly. <laughs> she is not happy. <laughs> she says, I wish you nothing but death. <laughs> <laughs> so this week on The Den, we decided that we are going to try horoscopes. Neither Ken nor I know anything about... Well, I know very little about horoscopes. I know I'm a Sagittarius... I know that he is a cancer. I have had people tell me that that means we're super incompatible. And I've had other people yeah. tell me that like a love like ours is super rare and ultra hard to find. Like I've, I've heard weird things from different people. So Because we're a, a fire sign and a water sign. That's why they say that. Yeah. Well, you know what they say. Opposites attract. Which is weird though because they say we're opposites based on our horoscope but like we are so much alike it's not even funny it's, yeah it's and you know what i'm from ohio where i live in a state where rivers have caught fire so <laughs> and i'm wedged between two lakes so there's that i've always lived somewhere near the water yeah so yeah so we gonna get to the horoscopes you gonna make me put the cat down yeah i think she probably wants to be put down anyhow she but... does let me get the belly one more time. She's like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. <laughs> get your belly. Get the swoozy belly. Say hi to everybody out there in YouTube land. She's hi, like, everybody. no, just let me go. <laughs> so like we said, I'm a Sagittarius. Ken is a Cancer. So Ken is born July 5th. I am born December 18th. Yes. So. So according to astrologyanswers.com, uh, Cancer and Sagittarius love match is one that makes many astrologers say it's not the best on paper. We, however, look at love compatibility from a universal perspective and believe the best can come from every love match. This one does not come without problems, but when both Cancer and Sagittarius are willing to put in the effort to embrace their differences, they will find each other happy for some time to come. Cardinal water sign Cancer is the emotional center here, while Sagittarius is the energetic, mutable fire sign. This relationship will always be in flux, and both are going to need to be okay with that in order to make this one stick. Okay. Oh, you're gonna make me... Okay. Hey, Library Ann, read. Cancer and Sagittarius compatibility, the pros, in this match, we have two very different personalities. Cancer is the cardinal water sign who loves to lead, be the boss, and create the domestic center in, the life, in life. Sagittarius, as the mutable fire, is always moving from one project, vacation, or adventure to another and gives Cancer the new experiences that Cancer has always thought impossible. Cancer is ruled by the moon 
and so this match is one that is grounded well in free-flowing vessel of emotion. Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is lucky and optimistic and almost always in a good mood. This is a feminine energy, moon, being paired with a masculine one, Jupiter, and this creates a lovely balance in the love compatibility of this pairing. Overall, both parties have the same goals, just different methods of approaching them, which can be overcome with a little bit of effort. Bam! So those are the pros, the cons. The two distinct personalities we see with Cancer and Sagittarius have to do with lifestyle and what they find important. Both want long-term love, and that is the foundation that they must build on. Cancer prefers long nights in, however, and Sagittarius is one that prefers just the opposite. Yeah, sure, you always want to go out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to go <laughs> clubbing. Right. Uh, let's see. Sagittarius has a need for freedom as well, and this could upset Cancer, who wants their Sagittarius all to themselves. Conversations could seem like they are occurring on two different planets on occasion, and this could get heated with sparks flying. Cancer employs emotional manipulation when they aren't getting what they want. And for Sagittarius, that will only mean running in the opposite direction. On the other hand, Sagittarius has a tendency to run and give up a little too easily, something that will authentically wound cancer in the long term. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know me. Yeah, so I don't know if you can tell so far, but we're a little bit skeptic of this one. Well, cause yeah, because it's... it's not really... The way it's describing him especially is nowhere near accurate. How to maximize your zodiac compatibility. As different as these two signs are, a cardinal sign always bodes well with immutable sign, so Cancer and Sagittarius have some hope. Mutable signs like Sagittarius have a tendency to go with the flow very easily. As such, when problems arise, and they will, if anyone concedes it, will be Sagittarius. Sagittarius may need to be okay with doing this regularly, and if they are, this match has a chance. On the other hand, Cancer needs to learn that they can't be the boss all the time, and should consider hand... <laughs> On the, <laughs> on the other hand, Cancer needs to learn that they can't be the boss all the time, and they should consider handing the reins over to Sagittarius on occasion. As well, honesty will work better for Cancer in heated conversations, more so than emotional manipulation. I'm sorry, this is hilarious, because this is so, like, not us. <laughs> Overall, however, if both can embrace these differences and each other, their approaches will strengthen and bond for years to come. <laughs> All that emotional so, manipulation. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know me, I'm just sitting here thinking, how can I get this motherfucker to do what I want? Easy. Take your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was interesting. It yeah. was uh, pretty far fetched and pretty far from accurate. Yeah, yeah. As far as our regular horoscopes go, I I read one the other day just for shits and giggles, and it told me that unexpected guests were coming over, or I would have an unexpected visitor. And my aunt woke me up. She came by with her dog and visited yeah, for a little while. Yeah, that's true. We so laughed that was at, weird. We laughed it off at the time because, um, hello, quarantine, but... Yeah, no, that, that was just weird. We're like, yeah, okay, yeah, somebody's going to come by and visit. <laughs> yeah, so my daily horoscope for Saturday is don't be surprised if in the middle of a conversation you, your mind starts to wander. At first you might wonder why you can't follow this person's line of thinking, but then you'll realize they're just boring. How vapid is that? Few people are as charming as you, especially right now. You're in a phase where your personality is strong and you need an equal match to stay engaged. Seek out people who are larger than life. They will keep you fascinated and keep you talking. So that seems rather... I think vapid was the best word. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Surround yourself with better people or you're going to be bored. And mine is... Your good memory is going to come in quite handy today. Good memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sweetness. I mean, 
my long term memory is really good, but my short term memory fucking sucks. <laughs> anyway, let's try this again. <laughs> Your good memory is going to come in quite handy today, especially if you experience a blast from the past. As soon as you hear from the person, let your mind go back in time to when you last saw them. In seconds, you'll likely know exactly what subject to bring up and when. They'll be tickled pink and totally flattered that you remembered them. You're about to embark on a lovely walk down memory lane and it could lead to a much more lucrative future. Really? So... So we're going to share our memories on the den and then our den channel's going to blow up and we're going to be rich. Not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we can hope. We can dream. Yeah. Some call me delusional. We can dream. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so those were um, interesting. Well, I mean, we may want to kind of disclose that you're what they call a cusp. Yeah, so right I'm, I'm December 18th, so I'm technically like right on the cusp of Sagittarius and Capricorn. And of what little I do know about Capricorns, apparently they're really freaking stubborn. You are stubborn. I'm not fucking stubborn. Okay, I can be a little stubborn. Yeah. But I'm I'm generally pretty easygoing. Like like last year when it took me forever to get you to try to see a doctor, and then you finally, finally, finally started to see a doctor, and it's like, we're in flippin' Canada. You can go and not have to pay for anything. Go see a damn doctor. Yeah. Stubborn. I am a little bit. So, what do you guys think of like horoscopes and zodiac signs and astrology as a whole? Like, do you put any merit into it? Is it something that you check every so often, or do you live your life by it day to day, checking it, seeing what's going to happen today, and kind of think how that weaves its way into your life like oh yeah. i could interpret it this way because of that or or do you well and that's the thing they're, they're always purposely vague enough that you're like oh this is what they meant and you make it work for your situation it's the same thing that that psychics do and the same thing that yeah every once in a while though like that one the other day with you're gonna have unexpected visitor like that was weird you have that but um yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't put a whole lot of stock into it myself but i just was curious to see what uh, everybody else out there thinks if it's something that you think about or go out of your way to, to pay attention to or if you think it's a load of hooey or whether you're like Jenna Marbles and say that everything's Aries and Virgo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let us know in the comments below. So I think that will do it for us this week, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And is there anything else you would like to say? Just uh, make sure you look us up on Facebook and give us a like there as well. All right. Bye.